Beats Pioneer, handing Pioneer its first loss of the season. The Umbrellas are out in force as Lee looks to clinch its division title tonight. If only they can beat Overfell the pitch, and it's intercepted there. Ryan Thomas gets it back to the five-yard line. It sets up this touchdown plunge by number 23, Kevin Paul. Remember that name. You'll hear it again tonight as number 23 gets into the end zone. The Longhorns are on offense again, and it's Paw taking the handoff, spins off one tackler, lunges for a 20-yard gain. That sets up Paw on another short touchdown run, this one from four yards out, and the Longhorns are well on their way. The mighty Longhorn ground game goes to work again. This time it's Tim Garner takes the draw up the middle as number 22 goes for 22 yards. That sets up Paw with a nice burst through the middle, and it leads to another touchdown and a nice pose for the camera does he know the camera's there and it's 20 to nothing lee thank you now it's time for overfill to get some offense going a 10a pritchard finds benro williams crossing over the middle for a nice game there and richard page finish off the drive with a four yard sweep for a 20 to 6 lee advantage but the longhorns go on to win it convincingly 41 to 6 and the longhorns the lee longhorns take the blossom valley league title and the guys from lee join us now Coach Chuck Moraldo, congratulations. Uh, the far end, John Bertell and Chris Guthrie. And uh, we'll start uh, with the quarterback, John. And uh, how did you guys, you know, you started off a little bit rough at the beginning of the season, and then when you guys got in the league play, you really took off. What happened? Well, it was mainly just um, the practices. We just, we, um, it was a lot more tense, you know. We got everything going. The guys just worked hard all week and each practice, you know. So that was pretty much all. I mean, it was just... What was your feeling as the team started kind of getting on a roll and then you were heading into Oak Grove last week? Did you guys really start getting a lot of confidence together and think you could do it? Yeah, we, we just really got pumped for it. I mean, after that game, I felt that um, we had the champion, championship won for the league. Um, we just tore it up when we played Oak Grove. We just okay, put it strong through. safety. Chris uh, Guthrie here in the middle. And Chris, uh, you guys uh, played some defense tonight. I know you were a little bit worried about going into this game because you knew this was a big game and that you guys uh, needed to win it for the, for the title. What was the thought on defense going into this one? Um, we just had to go out there and just do what we did against Oak Grove, shut it down. So um, we did really good against Oak Grove, so uh, we just had to base some defense. I know that was a nice win for you guys tonight over Overfelt, but uh, that Oak Grove win was sweet, wasn't it? Yeah, that was great for the team. Um, they're a good team, so we uh, just had to go out there and do the same thing against uh, Overfelt. Coach, what did it take uh, from the coaching staff and from, from your side um, to get these guys believing that they could win this league with the, you know, teams that had such great tradition as well as league having a great tradition there? Well, I don't, it didn't take a whole lot. I mean, you're looking at about 40, 45 guys back here that are very talented young guys. And uh, they have, all of them have a very good positive attitude, a good work ethic. They're focused on what they want to do. And uh, it's just really work with them, turn them loose. Yeah. Are you pretty proud of the way that they came together this year? Very proud. Yeah, yeah they, they've made a very exciting football season for Lee High School. And now where do you guys go from here? Well, we play uh, Piedmont Hills Thursday night right. at City College. But winning tonight yeah. means... Uh... Well, winning tonight means uh, a cinch for a co-champion. We right. win uh, Thursday night against Piedmont Hills, and it'll be an outright championship for us if we're able to do that. Well, congratulations. A terrific job of coaching to keep these guys rolling along, and uh, way to go. Lee Longhorns. At least uh, co-champ of the Blossom Valley League. Way to go. Good job. All right, coming up. Yeah. Give yourself a hand. Uh, you guys are fine. Give yourselves a hand. You deserve it. Way to go. Coming up, segment two, uh, five packs of highlights and also the Spirit Corner. A little blowout, 48 to nothing. The Lee Longhorns are fired up as they look to clinch their division championship against Piedmont Hills. It was all Longhorns early. Kevin Paw takes the handoff up the middle, spins off a tackle, and battles for some extra yardage. And now John Bertel looks deep and finds Dom Cassie, who gets both feet down, giving Lee a 35 to nothing. Oh, nice lead there. Now check out this Longhorn defense. Chris Guthrie steps in front of the pass. He'll make a nice cut back after the catch, and he is gone. And Lee takes a 42 to nothing lead. But despite the big score, Piedmont Hill showing some pride. Fred Jackson, a terrific back, takes this handoff through the line, shakes a tackle, and strolls into the end zone to make it 42 to 6. But everyone getting into the act for Lee. Pat Guthrie busts through the line, makes a nice cut, and is off on a 35 yard touchdown run that put the finishing touch on a 49 to 6. Longhorn victory and Lee. The Lee Longhorns taking the field against Watsonville, knowing that the winner of their game faces Salinas next week. 
Watsonville starts the scoring late in the second quarter with this 35-yard field goal by Jaime Jimenez just does get over. Then leaves Hector Lua, takes the kick to open the second half. He sprints 40 yards up the near sideline before he is finally tackled out of bounds, and Lee has something going down 3-0 to start the second half. Now on fourth and two, Scott Whiteford powers his way to the first down and gets it, and that sets up Tim Garner on the one-yard touchdown, which caps the 12-play drive and gives Lee a 7-3 lead. Very impressive. And the sky opened up, and the field got even more sloppy, and Adrian Cardova liked the conditions as he takes this one 13 yards down to the Lee six-yard line. Good mutter. Two plays later, Cordova stumbles in for a two-yard touchdown and a 10-7 Watsonville win. Watsonville will meet Salinas next Saturday. Chuck Moraldo, the Lee Longhorns.